Julian Castro, Hu Leon, Spanish, Shu L J A N, born September 16, 1974, is an American Democratic politician who served as the 16th United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President Barack Obama from 2014 to 2017, the youngest member of the Obama cabinet. Castro served as the mayor of his native San Antonio, Texas from 2009 until he joined Obama's cabinet in 2014. He was mentioned as a possible running mate for Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential campaign. He has stated that he is likely to run in the 2020 presidential election. Early life and family Julian Castro was born in San Antonio, Texas, the son of Maria Rosie Castro and Jesse Guzman. He is the identical twin brother of current United States Representative Joaquin Castro. Julian is one minute older than Joaquin. They were born at 2.40 and 2.41 a.m., respectively. Their mother was a Chicana political activist who helped establish the Chicano political party La Raza Unida, and who ran unsuccessfully for the San Antonio City Council in 1971. Castro once stated, my mother is probably the biggest reason that my brother and I are in public service. Growing up, she would take us to a lot of rallies and organizational meetings and other things that are very boring for an eight, nine, ten year old. His father, Jesse Guzman, is a retired mathematics teacher and political activist. Never married, Rosie and Jesse separated when Castro and his brother were eight years old. Castro's Texan roots trace back to 1920, when his grandmother, Victoria Castro, joined extended family members there as a six-year-old orphan from northern Mexico. Topic education Castro attended Thomas Jefferson High School in San Antonio, where he played football, basketball and tennis, he also collected trading cards. He skipped his sophomore year and graduated in 1992, ranking ninth in his class. He had received an offer to play tennis at Trinity University, a NCAA Division III school in his hometown, but chose to attend Stanford University. He graduated from Stanford in 1996 with a bachelor's degree in political science and communications. He said he began thinking about entering politics while at Stanford, where he and his brother launched their first campaigns and won student Senate seats, tying for the highest number of votes. Castro has credited affirmative action for his admission into Stanford, telling the New York Times, Joaquin and I got into Stanford because of affirmative action. I scored 12-10 on my SATs, which was lower than the median matriculating student. But I did fine in college and in law school. So did Joaquin. I'm a strong supporter of affirmative action because I've seen it work in my own life. Between his sophomore and junior years, Castro worked as an intern at the White House during the presidency of Bill Clinton. Castro entered Harvard Law School in 1997 and graduated with a Juris Doctor in 2000. His brother graduated from both schools with him. After law school, the two brothers worked for the law firm Akin Gump Strauss Hauer and Feld before starting their own firm in 2005. In 2018, Castro was named as the Dean's Distinguished Fellow and Fellow of the Davila Chair in International Trade Policy at the Lyndon B. Johnson School of Public Affairs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political Career. Topic. San Antonio City Council and Mayor In 2001, Castro was elected to the San Antonio City Council, winning 61% of the vote against five challengers. 
At age 26 he was the youngest city councilman in San Antonio history, surpassing Henry Cisneros, who won his council seat in 1975 at age 27. Castro represented District 7, a precinct on the city's west side with 115,000 residents. The population was 70% Hispanic and included a large number of senior citizens. As a councilman from 2001 to 2005, he opposed a PGA-approved golf course and large-scale real estate development on the city's outer rim. Castro ran for mayor of San Antonio in 2005 and was widely viewed as the front runner in a field that also included retired Judge Phil Hardberger and conservative city councilman Carol Schubert. He was defeated by approximately 4,000 votes when Hardberger received 51.5% of the votes. Following his election defeat, Castro established his own law practice. Castro ran for mayor of San Antonio again in 2009, announcing his candidacy on November 5, 2008. Castro hired Christian Archer, who had run Hardberger's campaign in 2005, to run his own 2009 campaign. Castro won the election on May 9, 2009 with 56.23% of the vote, his closest opponent being Trish DeBerry Mejia. He became the fifth Latino mayor in the history of San Antonio. He was the youngest mayor of a top 50 American city. Castro easily won re-election in 2011 and 2013, receiving 82.9% of the vote in 2011 and 67% of the vote in 2013. In 2010, Castro created SA2020, a community-wide visioning effort. It generated a list of goals created by the people of San Antonio based on their collective vision for San Antonio in the year 2020. SA2020 then became a non-profit organization tasked with turning that vision into a reality. Castro also established Café College in 2010, offering college guidance to San Antonio area students. In 2012 he led a voter referendum to expand pre-kindergarten education. Castro persuaded two of the most prominent businessmen in San Antonio, Charles Butt and Joe Robles, to lead an effort to pass a $30 million sales tax to fund the pre kindergarten education program. In March 2010, Castro was named to the World Economic Forum's list of young global leaders. Later that year, Time magazine placed him on its 40 Under 40. List of rising stars in American politics, Castro gained national attention in 2012 when he was the first Hispanic to deliver the keynote address at a Democratic National Convention in Charlotte, North Carolina. Following the 2012 elections, Castro declined the position of United States Secretary of Transportation, partly with an eye on running for governor of Texas after 2017. However, in 2014, Castro accepted President Barack Obama's offer of the position of United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Castro resigned as mayor effective July 22, 2014, so that he could take up his duties in Washington. The San Antonio City Council elected Councilmember Ivy Taylor to replace him. Topic. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development On May 22, 2014 the White House announced Castro as the nominee to be the next Secretary of Housing and Urban Development by President Barack Obama. He was confirmed by the Senate on July 9, 2014 by a vote of 71-26 and replaced Sean Donovan, who was nominated to be the Director of the Office of Management and Budget. He took office on July 28, 2014. Following the announcement, Castro was discussed as a potential nominee for vice president for the Democratic Party in the 2016 presidential election. On July 28, 2014, his first day in office, Castro was honored at a reception called Celebrating Latino Cabinet Members. 
Hosted by the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute, upon exiting office in 2017, Castro's final memo outlined various accomplishments of the department under his leadership. These areas included HUD's work to stabilize the housing market, rebuild communities struck by natural disasters through a $1 billion national disaster resilience competition, expansion of lead safety protections in federally assisted housing, and the affirmatively furthering Fair Housing Rule to finally fulfill the full obligation of the Fair Housing Act. Topic. 2016 presidential election On October 15, 2015, Castro endorsed Hillary Clinton for president. When Clinton was asked if Castro could be her pick for vice president, she said, I am going to look really hard at him for anything because that's how good he is. Discussion of Castro as a candidate to run on the Democratic ticket with Hillary Clinton increased markedly in January 2016, as the Iowa and New Hampshire primaries approached. In late January, Castro began to campaign for Clinton in Iowa, a move interpreted as a test of his appeal to the electorate. In July 2016, the U.S. Office of Special Counsel issued a finding that Castro had violated the Hatch Act by commenting on the 2016 campaign while giving an interview in an official capacity. Castro admitted the error and ordered his team to improve training on the Hatch Act. Topic: <laughs> Memoir. In October 2018, Castro published his memoir, An Unlikely Journey, Waking Up from My American Dream, through Little, Brown and Company. <laughs> 2020 presidential election Castro has already visited the first in the nation New Hampshire primary state in 2018 and delivered the commencement address at New England College in Henniker, New Hampshire, on May 12, 2018. Castro stated that would make his decision on whether to run in 2020 after the November 2018 mid-term elections. On December 12, 2018 Castro announced the formation of an exploratory committee. On the December 13, 2018 episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Julian's brother Joaquin during a joint appearance by both brothers stated that he confidently believes that Julian will be running for president. Political positions Castro has been an advocate for LGBT rights and, as mayor, opposed the law in Texas later overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court that denied legal recognition to same-sex marriages. He is also a member of Washington, D.C.-based think tank the Inter-American Dialogue. Castro was the first San Antonio mayor to serve as the Grand Marshal of the city's Pride Parade in 2009 and in 2011 led a push to offer domestic partner benefits in the city. In 2012, he joined mayors across the country in signing the Mayors for the Freedom to Marry petition for same-sex marriage equality. Personal life In 2007, Castro married Erica Lira, an elementary school teacher. In 2009, their daughter Karina Castro was born. On December 27, 2014, Castro announced via Twitter the birth of the couple's second child, a son, Christian Julian Castro. Castro studied Latin and Japanese in college, 